Hello, hello, my beautiful booze. I've got a video for you guys. As you can see, I broke this nail over here, which I can't say too much. I think literally, this is probably the first nail that I have broke in forever. And I really don't know where I lost it, but I've literally had these nails on. Well, I did these New Year's, but I did it over top of builder gel that I had on for probably like two months. So it was probably about time anyways. But anyways, I'm going to, to be removing these dip powder nails, and I want to show you how I remove dip powder. First of all, the first thing I'm going to do is I am actually going to remove these rhinestones and... Um, which isn't going to be too hard. They literally just come right off. Do be careful. You might want to wear protective eyeglasses because I literally have had rhinestones like flip up in my eye before. If you can get them off without like them going into your eyeball and everything that is totally great but I um, have a tendency to just pop them off and just wherever they go I usually have to sweep afterwards because I literally get them everywhere um, I usually try to save my rhinestones I know that I don't know what you guys think about that but I do save them for sets that um, I'm doing um, a lot of times because I just don't feel like they're if they're if they're still really good and don't have any damage to them or anything I don't see a need in wasting them so I save them for sets that I do and I just have like a little cup that I just pour them into and then when I do a set I just put the rhinestones on keeps you from having to spend more money just to have rhinestones to decorate with. So I just put them in a little cup, save them. Alright, so I'm going to be using this bit here and this is from Wilson's. You do want to make sure that that is uh, fully secure in your drill bit. And this is the Aracy drill that I'm using. This is my absolute favorite so far. It is so quiet, low vibration, and doesn't take up any space on your desk hardly at all. But I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that it's on the right setting uh, forward, and I'm just going to go ahead and start removing um, this top coat and go around like this. And there's one thing I have to say about this um, acrylic is that it falls off so easy. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. It's going to get a little loud. I'm going to mute this. But let, anyways, let's get into this video and see how we take off a dip powder mini.
Alright guys, so I won't be using these many as you play. This one is MXM022 and this one is MXM021. This was in my Maniology box. I didn't review that box last month. Um, I wasn't too crazy about it, so... But, I mean, it's still, um, okay. It's just not really my thing, but I'm going to try to use it and see what I can come up with. So... Alright, so let me clean these up and I'll be right back. Alright my lovely boo, so this is what I came up with using the Maniology stamping plates Ilmex Ilm 021 and 022. Make sure to go check them out if you like this kind of thing. I personally am not a big fan of it, but you may like it. Don't forget to use my code beautyb 10 to save you 10% off your Maniology order. I also use the Maniology stamping plates. Uh, the Salon Perfect I got from my local Walmart and the Out the Door Coat Coat you can get from eBay or your local drugstore. Most of them carry them. Um, I got mine at Rite Aid uh, is where I got my Out the Door Top Coat. It is my favorite fast drying top coat. Um, you do have to be careful because it will smudge if you're not careful. Um, but anyways guys, let me know down below what you think. Uh, make sure to hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. Let's be friends and do nail art together. And I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Bye.